Welcome to the complete.xap installation guide from the Windows 10 Mobile Group. XAP are applications based on Silverlight technology which were designed for Windows Phone 8 and 8.1. If you look in the Windows 10 Mobile Group repository in Windows Universal Tools application, you will see a lot of XAPs in there as well. That's because of Windows 10 Mobile being pretty backward compatible. Thanks to that almost all of them can run in Windows 10 Mobile Viaduct side loading. When it comes to side loading, before there was only one way to do it and that is using the deployers in PC. Then we have found another way by manually setting up CMD files and configuring CMD access in Windows 10 Mobile and installing XAPs using command line. But ultimately now thanks to CMD injector application which makes CMD setup only one click away, you can install XAPs completely without PC easily. We will demonstrate all of these in this video so follow along. Now let's get your PC loaded with the tools needed, download both of these, first one is Windows Phone 8 SDK Lite, and the second one is Windows Phone 8.1 SDK Lite, first let's install Windows Phone 8 SDK Lite, go inside the folder and then run the batch file, press any key in your keyboard to begin the installation of Windows Phone 8 SDK components. Now pay attention to the installation closely as there will be numerous permissions prompts, each failing attempt to accept will result in each missing component which could cause issues at the end while in app deployment. When all are installed, close the command window and reboot your PC. When your PC boots back, go on to install the Windows Phone 8.1 SDK Lite. Just as with Windows Phone 8 SDK Lite, do the same thing. And when done, reboot the PC as well. Now all the tools needed are installed in your PC, so let's jump to deploy XAPs, open start menu and find Windows Phone SDK 8.1 folder and expand it, there click and open the Windows Phone application deployment tool, this is the official app deployer bundled in SDK, this folder contains some sample XAPs to show deployment, if you want, you can now delete the SDK 8 and 8.1 installation folders. 
So without further ado, let's go on to deploy XAPs, connect your phone to PC, then choose, browse, in deployer to select the XAP package you want to deploy to phone and click, deploy, to begin deployment. When the deployer displays, app deployment complete, the installed app will show up in the app list in your phone. The only limitation of the official deployer is that it doesn't support multiple package installs at once. There are several third-party XAP installers too, and each of them has its own advantages, you can find all of them in Windows 10 Mobile Group Repository in Windows Universal Tools application. But in this video, we will only showcase the WPV Zap Deployer, you can try others by yourself when you need to. Go ahead and download WPV Zap Deployer, a direct download links is also in the description. You can place the WPV Zap Deployer in anywhere. In this video, I have copied it to my desktop to showcase the installation. Open WPV Zap Deployer. Now you get several ways to add XAPs to Deployer. One is adding XAP files by choosing each. The second option is select a folder which contains XAPs. And also you can drag and drop XAPs to Deployer too. I will drag and drop some XAPs to the Deployer. When you get every XAP you need to install loaded into the deployer, click Deploy. Then it will begin side loading the selected packages to the phone and they will start to appear one by one in app list of your phone. That's how you can easily install multiple XAPs at once using WPV Zap Deployer which is not possible with official deployer. Now let's see how to install XAPs directly in phone without involvement of PC. But due to the installation needs the CMD configured, we are going to need the CMD injector app, Let's download it from Windows Universal Tools. If you don't have Windows Universal Tools, GitHub download link is also in the description. After downloading the archive package as with every package Windows Universal Tools will unzip the archive and then will also automatically install the app package which is in the archive. If you download it from the GitHub link in video description, you will have to install it using any installer in your phone. Now after installation is complete, go to app list and open the CMD injector application. There click inject button and click restart now, and your phone will reboot automatically. After the phone boots back, go back to CMD injector application and see if the button is now showing re-inject instead of inject like before. If it's still showing inject, then your phone is not interop unlocked. Now all the requirements to install XAPs are fulfilled. Let's head into Windows Universal Tools application as we will be using that as the XAP installer. There open hamburger bar and click on open. Now choose the XAP you want to install from the file picker. When you chose the XAP, it will be loaded to the queue. 
click on it and choose install. In the next windows, select Telnet as the install method and choose your preferred install location. Then the XAP installation will begin, wait for it to complete. When it displays completed, go to app list and the XAPU install will appear there. For a more convenient XAP installation, we can set Windows Universal Tools as the default installer for XAP packages, we can do it manually or via importing a pre-made reg file. Let's head into Windows Universal Tools Windows 10 Mobile Repository to obtain a pre-made reg to assign Windows Universal Tools as the default installer. After downloading the reg, open Interop Tools and import the downloaded reg. Then restart your device. Now go to File Explorer and try opening any XAP package. It will be automatically opened in Windows Universal Tools application ready to be installed. To make the XAP installation in Windows Universal Tools completely hands-free, we can set some default settings about XAP installation. Open Windows Universal Tools application. Then go to Application Settings. There expand the Resources tab and click Zap and Telnet. First activate the Use Telnet After Download toggle, then activate the Install Destination toggle according to your liking. I'm choosing Internal Storage toggle as I'm installing apps to my internal storage. Now try a XAP installation in Windows Universal Tools application. This time, when you open the XAP in Windows Universal Tools application, it will automatically begin the installation. So the user don't need to interact with it furthermore. That's all about the XAP installation in mobile.